and welcome to my channel. I know that you guys are seeing a DIY video after such a long time. So today I'm going to show you five different ways of creating a mask right from the comforts of your home. grocery store or a pharmacy to get your necessities you can even go to a park if the weather is good but you would have to maintain a good social distance and even the public transport is still operating but the only requirement is that you would have to wear a mask anywhere you go I know there are several countries like India where the lockdown is very strict like my parents can't go anywhere they have to stay at home and I know that once things are a little more lenient a mask would still be a requirement while most of us are still stuck at home and have all the time in the world why not dive right into this DIY project the first hack is super easy and this is something I came up with just a few days ago when I had to go somewhere and I had to cover my face as I had mentioned earlier if I'm using public transport in Toronto I do have to wear a mask or keep my face covered and I literally just walked into my closet and I found this tube top which I had purchased from Bandra a few years ago and I literally just put this over my head I raised the fabric up to my nose and whatever excess fabric which was left at the back of my neck, I tied it up with a rubber band and then I covered it with my hair. And I know this is not the perfect way to protect yourself from the virus since you do need a few layers to protect yourself completely. But in this emergency situation, this was a perfect solution for me. To make this mask, all you will need is a single sock and a pair of scissors. Take a long sock and cut three and a half inches away from the edge. Now cut straight through the sock in order to create this rectangular piece. Now fold this rectangular piece horizontally and then fold it up one more time. Now cut a tiny slit half an inch away from the edge. This mask is so easy to make. It literally took me less than a minute and I absolutely love how this looks. need a cotton fabric and all my summer clothes are at my in-laws house and all my winter clothes are knitted so the only option that I had was to cut up Jahan's shirts which are made of cotton but I did not want to ruin those and I did realize that there is a bed sheet that I bought from India this time around as you guys can see this white one is the one that I use on my queen size mattress and the gray one is the one that I got from India which is really wide so I'm just gonna cut this extra fabric out in order to make my masks I don't know you don't want me sometimes though I'm around you on many girls But you're always ignoring them In order to make a third mask, I would need a square fabric or a bandana So I'm just going to cut a 15 inch square from this fabric You can know how you might be top and bottom edge of the fabric to the center and then repeat the same thing one more time. Take two pieces of hair tie and slide it from the left and right side of the fabric. Now fold the fabric from the left side and bring it towards the center and tuck it in the folds that you had created earlier. Do the same on the other side as well. This mask was super easy to make. All I had to do was fold the fabric and that's it. Like I did not have to stitch anything and it works very well. And the best part about it is that I can even wash it. So I can just unfold it, put in the washer and the dryer and then refold it and use it again. Take me on this journey home. I don't wanna wait no So this mask is my favorite from this video because it has a filter which can be replaced every time you use it. In order to make this mask, you will need a fabric which is 16 inches wide and 8 inches long. Fold this fabric in half and then fold half an inch sections from both the ends. Iron the fabric so that the folds stay in place. Leave a gap of 1 inch from the base and pinch half an inch of the fabric and fold it downwards. Repeat the same steps two more times. Now open up the fabric and use a string of elastic which is 5 inches long and place it on the left and right just like this. 
Now fold the top section of the mask and pin the elastic in place. Now you will have to stitch a vertical line on the left and right of the mask. You can either use a needle and thread or you can use your sewing machine. and place it between the two fabrics in order to create a barrier. I absolutely love this mask because it has a filter which can be replaced so every time I'm done using it I can toss this out and use another one and I also love the fan fold basically this will make sure that it fits right on your face and it hugs the bridge of your nose and your mouth very well. There are deal breakers where I come from. Thank you so much for sticking around till the end of this video. I love this mask because it fits very well and it sits very well on your face. And in order to make this, you will need a plate which is 10 to 12 inches wide. Place it on the piece of fabric and cut it. Now fold the circle in half and fold it once again and cut all the folds so that you get four different pieces. Take two pieces at a time and stitch the curved edge. Now fold one of them inside out and place it between the other one just like this. Leave a gap of 2 inches and stitch along the edges. Invert the fabric inside out. You can either stitch this with a machine or hand sew it. I prefer to use a needle and thread so that I don't see the seam line on the other side of the mask. Once you've created the loop, insert the elastic band. Tie a knot and pull the knot through the loop. And that's it! I absolutely love this mask. It fits so well on my face and it was super easy to make. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you guys learned how to create a mask and if you guys do end up creating one of the designs, please tag me on Instagram. I would love to see your recreations. Until next time, take care of yourself, stay safe, stay indoors, and I'll be back very soon. Bye!